Globally, we are witnessing disruption coming in the automotive industry. Four technology-driven trends, electrification, shared mobility, connectivity and autonomous driving are leading the automotive industry to this disruption. The automotive sector in India has begun to feel the effects of global upheaval. In a vibrant, fast-paced nation like India, in the economy and uh, population is driving the need for mobility. But like everywhere else in the world, the serious impact on climate and the local environment means we must find solutions for making mobility sustainable. And I have absolutely no doubt this, that uh, sustainable mobility is good for the planet and for economic prosperity. The way forward is through electric mobility and more automated and autonomous driving functions. Automotive industry is uh, is definitely going through a big change. Uh, until um, probably until 2016, 2017, people thought that EVs are interesting, but it's it's very much a reality now. Uh, there is uh, uh, there is no doubt. Uh, everyone is now now trying to like, sort of get into the bandwagon and, and, and start uh, developing electric vehicles and the industry is up for a huge disruption in the next uh, next decade. Everything will change from powertrain to, to pricing, the kind of products we have, the ownership model, the servicing model, everything is, is, is going to go through a huge amount of uh, disruption in the next, next decade. With everything in the picture, it's clear that the EVs have become the reality we are seeing on the road. Consumers are looking for compelling EV two-wheeler options that are at par in design, performance and reliability. However, there were hardly any good options that were available in the market. While I'm purchasing an EV, first thing I look is for, uh, in my criteria, would be the speed because what I've usually seen is that they are slow, not that fast. And uh, being another thing is the range. Coming to a typical thing, what we look into an EV is its uh, functionality in a daily usage. So if it sits in the criteria that uh, where we are able to use it daily without being hindered to charge it more often, that suits the purpose. And coming to its uh, features, I think uh, many uh, scooters these days in the market are loaded with features, but how usable they are in terms of day-to-day -day basis, that's what matters. Three years ago, the EV scooters were not many and uh, I did not have much options or uh, things that I wanted from a scooter, but uh, all I wanted was it should be like any other normal scooter. It should reach at least 80 to 90 kmph and it should be easy to uh, use like any other scooter. And I had seen other scooters which were uh, really weak in uh, maybe pulling luggage or uh, uh, taking two people. Uh, I did not want that. It should be like a normal scooter. Addressing the potential in the market for EVs, there came in Aether Energy. An Indian electric vehicle company founded in 2013. It manufactures two electric scooters, the Aether 450X and the Aether 450 Plus. These high-performing scooters are making a mark not only in the EV space, but in the overall two-wheeler space as well. These are the most awarded EV scooters in India. Best-in-class design, quality, reliability, excellent ride quality, consistent performance that differentiates them strongly compared to any other player in the ecosystem, dependable tech integration and hassle-free ownership experience. Most good companies are now manufacturing in India, right? And two-wheeler companies are always in India. But I think what's always missing is built and designed in India. What Aether was able to challenge and change in almost like a uh, industry changing way was to build and design a product grounds up with its entire technology in India, build the entire platform here in India and then move that to production here. That to date remains an almost uh, uh, an extreme rarity. Aether remains like actually pretty much the only example in the entire industry to have done that. We put out our first product in the market in 2018. Since then response has been phenomenal. We spent a few years in, in improving the quality and stabilizing the platform. Today, a 450 is, is the most reliable and the most stable electric two-wheeler in the market. Test over more than about 100 million kilometers. 
and 800 tests. So it's one of the most stable products out there. From a supply chain and quality and manufacturing perspective, we have made enormous progress last year. We've uh, set up a new plant and we're in the process of now scaling up even further to about an annual capacity of almost half a million units. Aether's quickest and smartest electric scooters in India, Aether 450X and Aether 450 Plus with best-in-class acceleration and battery and fast charging network are designed for our roads. Another important feature is the consistency of performance across all riding modes which sets Aether apart from any competition. What we're trying to build here is the, is the fundamental technology required for building great vehicles, right? So the focus uh, for us is, is going to be building great products which will kind of change, uh, move the industry from what is the status quo today about two wheelers uh, and, and themselves to a, a much, the kind of expectations from the product itself will, will become much, much better, much, much larger rather. People will be expecting a lot of features which are termed as uh, premium uh, today. We are trying to make them much more affordable and, and much more common for everyone to uh, everyone to also. The, and fundamentally, what we're trying to do is is ensure that uh, we deliver great two wheelers for uh, for the Indian market. So the 450, when we launched it about four years back, uh, was aimed was meant to change the perception of electric vehicles. Every EV before that was like a compromise. It was like a toy, and it was not a credible alternative to a to an Activa or an Entorg or a Jupiter, any good scooter out there. And the Aether 450 was meant to change the same. So it had market leading specs. Uh, and with 450X, we have, uh, 450X was the fastest accelerating scooter when it was launched. And even today it remains one of the fastest and one of the quickest products out there. I can say that I've made a good choice back in 2019 when I bought this. Uh, one is because uh, I got all the things that I was looking for in an EV and above that I got some smart features like uh, navigation and uh, uh, the touchscreen dashboard or anything. I got uh, something more than what I had expected. So to me, Aether is an emotion now. It isn't just a company and a brand. For me, when I ride the scooter, I know it's going to really pump my veins and really make me happy when I ride it because the rush which no scooter offers is just brilliant. When I hear the name, I know I'm a brand loyal of this company, so I can't help it. But I was turned into it by understanding what it is and how it is, not being just a blind consumer. So that's the one thing which I love about Aether. They take a lot of feedback and they accept what flaws are and uh, what they need to improve on. It's meant to be a performance vehicle that challenges every single petrol vehicle. Another big difference, so apart from performance, and the performance also in lots of tiny things, like this is the first scooter with an all aluminum frame, right? This was the first scooter in the country to have dual disc brakes, a belt transmission, a complete belt transmission. So lots of first of its kind, all aimed towards improving performance. The second big aspect of the vehicle is connectivity. So this was the first vehicle to have uh, 3G and now 4G SIM card. So it has integrated Google Maps navigation, it has, uh, uh, it directly syncs up with your app and you can track the vehicle and the vehicle automatically updates over the air just like your mobile phone does, right? Just like how your Android gets an update every few months, the vehicle scooter gets an update practically every month. Right? So performance and connectivity, they are the two big aspects of the vehicle. We have two products, 40 Plus and 40X. Depending on which city you are in, the products start from as low as I think 1 lakh 10,000 and the highest end 40X going all the way up to 1,50,000. It depends on the city that you are in. This year for us is the year of growth. Last year in some sense was about putting all the fundamental building blocks and getting things started. This year is when the scale hits really a, a large volume. We'll be present in about 100 cities, 150 stores. Uh, we'll have more than 1,000 fast chargers. We would have sold to about 100,000 customers. So this year for us is all about massive scale. Aether scooters are changing the perception of EVs and also showcase the possibilities that the new segment of smart and connected vehicles offer Indian consumers. With initiatives like Aether Scooters, it looks like the government's aim of going electric is the current reality.